It was always going to be a tough battle. Almost 24 hours late due to Tropical Storm Nestor, the MEAC game pitting the North Carolina A&T Aggies and the Florida A&M Rattlers took overtime to decide. And what dramatics it was. Red shirt freshman quarterback Rashawn McKay connected with fifth year senior Marcus Williams in the corner of the end zone to lift the Rattlers to a 34 to 31 win. FAMU remains unbeaten in MEAC play and unbeaten in the FCS. Talk about a storm. The biggest storm of the weekend was the Rattler fans storming the field after the final touchdown was confirmed. Ryan Stanley, FAMU's all-time leading passer, tossed a 56-yard seam route to Xavier Smith, who carried it to the house to get the Rattlers on the board first. A&T would answer with a one-yard run by Khalil Carter to even the game at seven apiece. Stanley would connect with David Manigo for a five-yard score with just 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The back and forth continued as Jermaine Martin scampered on a nine-yard run to knot things up at 14. Coach Willie Simmons dialed up some trickery as running back Azinde Ray took a pitch and found Marcus Williams wide open to take a 21-14 lead. And all of that was just in the first half. In the third quarter, A&T struck first with a 26-yard field goal, closing the gap to 21-17. Terrell Jennings bowled his way into the end zone to extend FAMU's lead to 28-17. But the two-time defending national champions would not go down without a fight. Kashawn Baker scored on a 36-yard scamper, and Ruiz added two field goals to the game with double zeros on the clock. With FAMU quarterback Rinley Stanley sideline, McKay threw a back shoulder pass to Williams in the end zone to seal the win. To say it was a wild one in Tallahassee is the understatement of the year. Willie Simmons Rattlers are now 6-1 and 4-0 and and in the MEAC. They head up to Baltimore next week to face the Morgan State Bears. Washington and the Aggies will look to rebound next week as the Howard Bison visit Greensboro for Jiho, the greatest homecoming on earth. Coach, you guys remain undefeated in conference play. How does that feel? Well, it feels really good. Um, the guys have played extremely hard. You know, we had a mission at the beginning of the season to show everyone, you know, that we're capable of being the best team in this conference. Uh, we set goals to win all of our natural rivalries, to win our home games, and that was two of those today. You know, with being been a, a rivalry and it been a home game. So great job by the team. Um, faced a lot of adversity, as always, but these guys found a way to get it done. And how did you guys prepare for, you know, given that the storm pushed the game back uh, a day? Well, you know, again, we talk about overcoming any adversity that comes our way. And th th this week it came in the form of them moving the game back because of the storm. Of course, safety is always the number one concern for our football team, for our fans, for the administration, everyone involved. So I commend everyone who put their heads together and decided to move the game to Sunday to ensure our safety. And um, our guys, it gave us another day of preparation. And I, I thought it helped out today. And, you know, again, our guys put all the outside noise aside and found a way to come out and get a big win. And how did you keep your team focused given the high emotions of this game? Well, we talk about it all the time. You know, football is an emotional game, uh, but it's played between the lines and between the whistles. And, and it's all about what we do when it matters the most. You know, talking never wins a football game. You know, fighting off the field, things never win football games. It's about the team that executes the best. It's about the team that stays together and plays 60 minutes of football to the end. And, and our team showed that today. You know, so again, you know, we'll, we'll address the off the field antics because that's not indicative of who we are as a football team. You know, but in an emotional game, you have things like that sometimes. But again, we, we're happy to have the win and we'll clean up the off the field stuff um, later on. On my very first broadcast for HBCU Game Day, I'm Corey Staples.